Hi everybody, it's Tom. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the FOSS Investigations Guides. This is going to be your primary resource for planning and preparing your science lessons using the FOSS curriculum. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on the online investigations guides, the digital version. And that's for two reasons. Number one, many of you who have a lot of experience with FOSS, so you're already well versed in the, in, the, in the hard copy version. The other reason is, as we adopt this curriculum district wide, initially we're just not going to have enough hard copy versions to where every teacher is going to be able to have a copy for their bookshelf at all times. Instead, the hard copies are going to have to travel with the kit materials and you'll have access to them while you're teaching the lessons. But hopefully, after you watch this video, you'll realize that the digital version of the investigation guide is just as good as, and maybe you'll think in some cases, better than the hard copy version. Now, I've gone ahead and made some other videos about setting up your teacher account and accessing your teacher page. Uh, you'll have to go there and in the fall, when you start getting the hard copy versions, that's where you'll find your online access codes to activate the digital copies of the investigation guides. So if you haven't watched those videos, uh, take a look. Make sure you're set up in FOSWeb. You can also use our generic uh, district-wide account that we have available as we go through this video. But let's jump in and let's take a look at what's available to you in the digital versions to get you started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is log into your teacher page and go down and find your installed modules. Now remember, if you, if you don't have any modules installed, you'll do that by going up here and entering your access codes. These are the codes that are in the front cover of each FOSS module. Um, one thing to point out is that more than one teacher can share the same access code. It's not a, it's not a one-time use thing. So uh, if you're not the first person to have that particular module, don't worry, the access code should work for you as well. So choose a module. In this case, I'll choose energy and I'm in the, in the fourth grade uh, section here. And it opens your teacher page and there's a lot of stuff here. You're going to find that the majority of these things are actually redundant because you can go ahead and find pretty much everything that you're going to use on a regular basis in these three links up here. And it's really only two links because both these links here are for the investigations guide. It comes in two formats. It comes in a tablet based format and it comes in a PDF based format. And which one you use is, is really going to be based on your preference. And then this other area, resources by investigation, I think this is really good. We'll talk about this in a moment. This is a page where it, it summarizes everything and everything that you see below, you can pretty much find through here. But let's start and look at the digital versions of the investigations guide. We'll, we'll look at the PDF version first. It's exactly what you would expect. You click on it, it opens up a PDF viewer, and it's an exact replica of what you would get in the hard copy. So everything everything that's in the hard copy is going to be here uh, there's a table of contents you can go here to skip around to whatever section you're going to so for example let's go to investigation one part one lighting a bulb this is exactly what you would see in the hard copy because it is a PDF they don't have a lot of hyperlinks active within the PDF you have to do most of your navigation through this table of contents but they do have a nice bookmark feature so if you if you want to go ahead and make a note about a page, you can do it here, and uh, or you can bookmark it for easy easy access later. But uh, this PDF version, like I said, exactly what you're going to see in the in the hard copy version, page for page. If we go back and we look at the the interactive version, this was made for tablets and pretty much when everybody brought iPads into the classroom, I think FOSS developed this, figuring the teacher would have an iPad in front of them. And it's it's nice, but it is not a direct replication of the hard copy version. So everything's there, it just looks different. And you might find it easier to find things. There's a little menu tab over here on the left for you to go ahead and move around. Quite honestly, I'm not as familiar with this this version. I like the I like the PDF version. 
uh, myself, but you can get to all the same stuff. For example, here we are in investigation one in the, in the PDF version. We're in investigation one on the materials page and getting ready. And you can see that there's materials and getting ready. It's giving you all the same information. It just looks different. Something you might like about this is it's got hyperlinks embedded into it. So as you go ahead and click on it, it'll take you directly to the black line masters for the student notebooks or the other teacher materials. Uh, you might find that to be, to be very helpful. Um, click here and we'll go back. In the getting ready section, you'll also see that it's got the teacher videos embedded right there. So you go ahead and click and it'll take you right to the page where the teacher setup video is. If this loads, give it a second. Okay, there we go. Um, so, you know, spend a little bit of time and investigating both sides, the PDF version and the interactive version, and decide which one you like uh, to use more often. But the, the last thing I really want to, to bring your attention to is resources by investigation. I think this is really good because when you go here, it lays out everything that you're going to use in each part of each investigation all in one place. So, for example, for investigation one, part one, everything that's involved in that is in, is in one area. The, the prep video, uh, the, the focus question handouts, the note, notebook sheets, the teacher masters, here's the interactive whiteboard files, here's links to the online uh, activities that they, they encourage you to, to use with the students, uh, embedded notes, and your, and your assessments. Go down and you'll find it's got the same thing for every, every investigation and every part of that investigation. So as you plan and prepare a unit, this is a really good spot to go through and say, okay, where is everything laid out in one place? And it, it follows, it follows everything that's in the investigation guide very well. I hope you found this helpful in getting you started looking at the digital versions of the investigations guides. I think that they will be very, very useful to you as you plan and prepare your lessons. If you have any additional questions or would like to see other things in videos, please reach out and let me know. Until next time, take care.